Recent investments in downtown St. Catharines are starting to pay off. The impact of the Performing Arts Center and Meridian Center has local entrepreneurs and business owners following suit. Front and center amongst those entrepreneurs is Natalie and Sharvin Keshavarsnia. The St. Catharines couple have several downtown properties and recently gave the source a preview of the transformation that has been underway at their latest project at 165 St. Paul Street. Like most retrofits, we, we really opened this building up. Um, all the floors were opened up. Mm -hmm. uh, the engineer uh, um, really wanted to make this building set up for the next 100 years and uh, we, we did our best to do everything uh, correctly, all, yes. the, all the electrical, everything was updated uh, to today's standards. So you may see an old rustic building, but uh, it has uh, an, the insulation value of, uh, of a brand new home and um, uh, it's definitely set for the next 100 years. Mm -hmm. Natalie and Sharvin have believed in the potential of downtown for several years. In fact, they began investing in the city core prior to the major government infrastructure projects. Um, St. Catharines, I mean, is really coming back. It's changed from a GM town to now I think arts and young families are coming in. I've had many clients from Toronto coming and, and moving to St. Catharines. It's a beautiful area. We have our wineries. Um, the downtown has a lot of festivals going on. There's a lot of you know, young entrepreneurs like Charvin and myself that are taking these buildings, I think, and making them new again. The newly renovated building at 165 St. Paul Street will host a two-story, four-bedroom apartment and will be the new location for the ever-popular Beachwood Donuts. If we're just completely running out of space, there was only three of us. There only was supposed to be three of us. Now there's 20 staff, not all at the same time, but in total. So we've definitely grown in the last three years. So now we're completely falling over each other. Like we're maxing out of donuts. Uh, we're making max capacity on Saturday, still selling out after six hours. So the new space is going to be two and a half times the size. We're going to be able to make double the amount of donuts in the same amount of time. So we'll be able to make sure everything's in stock at all times, last a little bit longer and hopefully take orders in the future. City officials say that investments like this show that the strategy behind the government projects was sound. It's exactly what we envisioned when, you know, when the city made its investments in the downtown. We wanted to see the private sector, um, uh, you know, get spurred on by this. And so when we see Beachwood Donuts succeed and when we see Charvin and Natalie uh, make such a great investment in, in this building, then, you know, that, that's, that's exactly what we want. Samir was so impressed that he says he wouldn't be surprised to see the city using this property flip as an example to other prospective investors. That's one of the first things that I thought when I, when I walked in here. I, I thought, I want to show this to other people. I want to take this to other communities, to other businesses, and show them that, you know, this is what's happening in downtown St. Catharines. Um, because I think that we don't do a good enough job of promoting ourselves outside of St. Catharines and, uh, and we need to kind of, you know, take projects like this and just show people like this is the kind of lifestyle that you can have in downtown St. Catharines. Transitions Furniture lent a hand in furnishing the apartment for this segment. Natalie says cooperation like this is commonplace amongst those who have a stake in downtown St. Catharines. They've been nothing but generous. They've come over and taken a look at the project, positive comments all the way through. Um, yeah, they've been really welcoming. Other small businesses, I mean, you chat with Kraft quite a bit. All, all the neighbors, yeah. all the neighbors have been interested. Really excited. All the city staff mm -hmm. have been interested. Um, the, uh, we've, had, we've had just an overwhelming response. As this project nears completion, Natalie and Sharvin are already looking ahead. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a market that uh, um, it's being redefined and a lot of times uh, in business it, that can be associated with risk, but um, it's been proving itself over the last mm -hmm. several years um, and we're definitely taking name. The, phone's, uh, the phone is ringing, the, the, the planning and building department is extremely uh, busy, there's more permits pulled than, than, than there has been in a long time. Um, the, the word is out and uh, there's a lot of uh, great stuff happening. From downtown St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.